What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it looks like we have three new weapons coming to Call of Duty World War II, possibly next week. I'm going to assume next Tuesday, I think we will see a new event. And with this, we're going to be seeing two new ranged weapons as well as a new melee weapon. And we actually know what these are, and you can actually use these in a local match. And I'll show you how to do that towards the end of this video. So this was first picked up when you go into the paint shop and you scroll over to the World War II tab and you go all the way down to the bottom. With the most recent update, you will see there's emblems for the cavalry division, as well as the new basic training skills. But there's also a few weapons there that aren't in the game currently. The first one that really caught my eye is the Delisle Carbine. This is one that I talked about last week on the channel. That was shown in the DLC 3 trailer. So that's already confirmed to be coming to the game. And right there is just your little extra confirmation that it's definitely coming in the game. Last week when I made that video, there was a bit of confusion as to which category of weapon that would be in. It is now confirmed that this will be in the sniper rifle category, and it's got a built-in suppressor so it always keeps you off the radar. The one right at the bottom that's clearly an SMG, that's actually the brand new SMG, so that's the ZK-383, that one's already active, that's the one that you get for prestiging the cavalry division. And that leaves us with that one ranged weapon that kind of looks somewhat like an SVT, it took a little bit of searching at the time before we found out that we had access to this in local matches, but I did find out that that is the AVS-36, which is a fully automatic rifle. That just leaves us with the melee weapon, and that is clearly a push dagger. Now I strongly feel these new weapons are going to be coming to the game with a brand new event this coming Tuesday, which is July 3rd. Now looking back at the history of the events in COD World War II, normally there's about a 2-3 to three week break between events, and with the most recent event, Attack of the Undead, this actually just ended this week, so it would only be a one week break between events, but also when you look at the events, anytime a DLC is launched, they always launch an event within one week of that DLC. As a result, I'm leaning towards that July 3rd date, but I could be wrong on this and it might end up being July 10th. I'd be willing to bet though, it wouldn't be any later than July 10th. As for what this event will be, I think it's going to be another Days of Summer event like we had last year across, I think it was three Call of Duty titles. We had it in Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, as well as Black Ops 3. I think we might see something similar again here. So it'll be interesting to see if they do this across several Call of Duty titles. Maybe it'll be active for Infinite Warfare as well as Black Ops 3 again. Not too sure on that one. But I am sure these guns are in the game and they will be coming sometime soon. Now I want to explain what you guys have to do if you want to try these new guns out right now today. You can just hop into the game and try them out for yourselves in a local match. You won't be able to use them online or anything. And I'm actually just going to play on the safe side and not show any gameplay here on the video. Just because I'm not too sure how this fits in with like terms of service as far as uploading videos on it. Because it is kind of a bug in a sense. It's not like you're really exploiting something big. You won't get banned for doing this. But as far as showing videos on it, I'm just not 100% sure. So I'm going to play it on the safe side. I will show just a couple images of these guns so you can see what they look like in your hand. But that's as far as I'm going to take it with this video. So if you want access to this, all you have to do is before you boot up COD World War II, disable the internet on your console. So just turn internet off, uncheck that connect to the internet box in the network settings. Then boot up COD World War II, go into a local match. And when you're in that local match, all you have to do is make sure you have a class setup that has Wanderlust on it. This is one of the brand new basic training skills that gives you a random weapon every time you hit triangle. And this is how you gain access to these new weapons. So once you have that Wanderlust class set up, all you do is hop into a game. You can throw some bots on there if you want to be able to actually use this against bots. Set up the rules how you'd like it. And then once you're in a game, just keep hitting triangle. It'll keep swapping weapons until you get one of the new ones. If you do this while you're connected to the internet, you will never get one of these new guns. You'll just swap between all the guns that we currently have access to online. And again, this can only be done in an offline local match. Now, at least at the time of me recording this video, this is still working. It's something that they could definitely patch out at some point, I'm sure. So maybe a couple days down the road or something, you won't be able to do this. So if you want to try them out, make sure you do that right away. As for the guns themselves and how they are performing in the game, keeping in mind, of course, there might be like a day one patch on these, so it completely changes how they work. So this isn't set in stone or anything for when these release. But so far, what we can see is the Delisle Carbine seems to be a relatively typical bolt action sniper rifle, although it is suppressed all the time, which means you're always going to be off the radar. But it seems to behave somewhat like a Type 38 or a Lee Enfield, where it's got a slightly smaller one-shot kill area where it's just like chest up, and you'll just get a hit marker if you hit him lower than the chest. But so far everything seems pretty typical with that, aside from the fact that it is always suppressed. 
And the AVS-36, I actually did a little bit of testing on this with the fire rate and everything. It's a three-shot kill, and it's got basically the same fire rate as the M2 Carbine. It's basically the same as the M2 Carbine. Maybe just a little bit of a faster fire rate than the M2 Carbine based on my testing. And it looks like it's going to be quite a powerful gun when it launches, assuming it launches in this state. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, first off, what do you guys think about these new weapons that are going to be added? Do you think they're going to be good additions, or were you hoping for something else? And also, I just want to give a quick reminder, if you haven't been saving supply drops and armory credits yet, make sure you start doing that, because when this event drops, it'll be nice to have some supply drops stocked up. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.